Uh, again, Mr. President, I accept and sympathize with the goals of the resolution offered by my friend from Utah. And what I'm suggesting is a resolution that includes those criminals who may be posing as healthcare practitioners in one field of practice, but extends the condemnation to all areas of practice. And I hope that Senator Lee, my friend from Utah, will share my outrage at reprehensible and illegal actions that occur, unfortunately and tragically, in other areas of practice. And let me just mention a few. We ought to speak about the tragedy at the Pennsylvania Clinic, where the, these incidents occurred. But we also should talk about the Oklahoma dentist, who exposed as many as 7,000 patients to HIV and hepatitis B and C through unsanitary practices. Thousands of his patients are being tested to see if they've been infected, and so far 60 of his patients have tested positive for these viruses. That is 60 people who trusted their dentist, a healthcare provider in a position of trust and responsibility, relying on him to respect and care for them safely and responsibly, and instead they're now facing potentially life-threatening diseases that are as abhorrent and despicable in the lack of responsibility and care as what happened in Pennsylvania. And we ought to talk about that incident with the same outrage that we talk about what happened allegedly in Pennsylvania. We ought to speak about the healthcare practitioners at the Endoscopy Center of Southern Nevada that exposed 40,000 patients to hepatitis C through unsanitary practices. These unsanitary practices went on for years. And that's why this clinic may have hurt as many as 40,000 people. We're talking about 40,000 people, again, exposed to unnecessary danger because of the lack of trust and responsibility on the part of their health care provider. And we also ought to talk about the nursing director at Kern Valley Nursing Home in California who inappropriately medicated patients using antipsychotic drugs for her own convenience, resulting in the death of at least one patient. We should be talking about the compounding pharmacies in Massachusetts and elsewhere in this country who provided products that killed and harmed thousands of people. These incidents, as alleged, are willful violations of law, violations of human dignity and decency that ought to shock the conscience of the nation every bit to its core as much as the alleged misconduct and potential criminal activity in Pennsylvania. These standards of care, or more appropriately and correctly, the violation of them are simply unacceptable and intolerable, which is why my resolution would take as common ground the alleged Pennsylvania misconduct and include many other instances where standards of care, basic standards of decency and trust are violated. And I ask my friend from Utah to join me in espousing a resolution that establishes this kind of common ground. Thank you, Mr. President.